It's been ten long years since I left my home In the holler where I was born Where the cool foul nights make the wood smoke rise And the fox hunter blows his horn I fell in love with a girl from the town I thought that she would be true I ran away to Charlottesville And worked in a sawmill too What have they done to the old home place? Why did they tear it down? And why did I leave the plow in the field And look for a job in the town? South and the cold wind moans as I stand here and hang my head. I've lost my love, I've lost my home, and now I wish that I was dead. What have they done to the old home place? Why did they tear it down? And why did I leave the plow in the field and look for a job in the town? Thank you. It's a real pleasure to be here at McCabe's Guitar Shop, Banjo Shop, and everything else. We've been wanting to get out here this way for a long time, so finally we took a trip to Japan and figured we'd stop off. <laughs> Business as we was coming this way. We'll do a song for you now that uh, I think Flat and Scrub's done some hundreds of years ago. Did he? Yes, yeah, sure, he done Did he do it too? Well, he copied from Flat and Scrub's done. Was it? Sure. Tony will do it here for you. It's called uh, You Don't Know My Brain. Well, honey, you don't know my mind. I'm lonesome all the time. Born to lose a drifter, that's me. heart go wrong Baby, you don't know my mind today Baby 
Maybe you don't know my mind today Thank you very much. Uh, we'll do an instrumental for you now. Well, I don't think we'll sing on this one. I think we'll just leave the verses. You want to leave the verses out of this one? I just soon too. I'm a little on the horse side. So we'll not sing this one. Uh, Tony has this out. Which album? First or second? First album. First album. And uh, I think they, have they got any copies of it here? Does anybody know? It's called Tony Rice Guitar. Well, if you don't, you do? Who's got a copy? Did you? You're gonna sell it, huh? One way of making more money. No, it's a fine album if uh, any of y'all could run up on it. It's it's really worth buying. Got a lot of hot guitar licks on it. There's a little picture of Tony on there too. Now listen. It's a good instrumental called Salt Creek.
thank you very much. Uh, we'll do a song that, uh, that was written by some folks that used to live here. Chris Hillman, does he, live, does he still live here? Yeah, I reckon he does. It's one of my favorite songs that uh, J.D. has recorded and done a long time ago, a few years back. It's called God's Own Singer. Uh, this next song is a song we have recorded on our Rounder album that uh, finally got released. Uh, we shot for May and missed, and we shot for June and missed. We even shot for July. And, uh, 73. <laughs> yeah, 73. Uh, but finally, I reckon it's out. And uh, if y'all get Rounder records out this way, which I'm sure you do, hope you do, I'll be sure and pick it up here at... Uh, at McCabe's. I'll plug y'all. No, it's, uh, has this next song on it. It's an old flat scrubs number called Some Old Day.
Correct numbers, I guess we'll do another old and instrumental, the Flint Hill Special. rabbit out of our hat. We'll uh, do a song that uh, J.D. had recorded five, four years ago, five, on uh, King, no, Lemco, rather, excuse me. Cecil, he's not here though. Cecil Jones ain't here. The King of Reverb. Oh, what are you doing over here? Thank you very much. Some people call this, uh, out in Kentucky they call this song, uh, 
Dark Hollow. But out here in Los Angeles, they call it Dark Holler. <laughs> so, uh, we'll do that for you. song, uh, another song off of our Rounder album, and uh, is this one that uh, Chubby Checkers had out? No, Fats Domino, wasn't it? I always got those two mixed up. Oh, Leif Erickson. I don't think he had that out, did he? Don't Leif had that out? Called I'm Walking, yes indeed. Thank you. 
A little inside there. <laughs> we'll do a song that uh, Bob Dillion. Oh, Bob Dillion? Is that Bob? Bob Delon. Bob Delon? Yes. Bob Delon. Well, whoever. I think it's Bob. Is it Bob Dillon? Right. Bob Dillon. Looks like he'd spell it D I L L O N, doesn't it? Or I O N. That Y kind of throws me off. I don't, you know. This is called uh, This is called a Nashville Sky Jack Rag.
thank you. Uh, we've got about time for one more. And uh, I think uh, the cornbread, or is it the cornbread or just cornbread? I'm sorry. Well, cornbread. The cornbread band. No. It's finally falling into the ocean, isn't it? What's that? Jeez. Is it sliding right now? Hit them brakes, George. We'll do a song that uh, J.D. recorded some, some years back. Matter of fact, just about all these songs he recorded one time or another. Under an assumed name. You know, the Kentucky Mountain Boys and uh, uh, Hugh Sturgill's Flying Turkey Brothers. Under the name of Sonny Osborne. No, never make it. Let's see. This is called Devil in Disguise. We'll see y'all after a while. <laughs> Doesn't know what makes a man a man Well, she talk about the times that she's been with you And speak your name to everyone she can She's a devil in disguise You can see it in her eyes She's telling dirty lies She's a devil in disguise You can't live without She's a devil in disguise You can't see it in her eyes She's telling dirty lies She's a devil in disguise In She's a devil in disguise You can't see it in her fiddle tune here that uh, was written back before they, uh, they had such a thing as a guitar and a bass and a hubcap guitar <laughs> with holes in it. Lord, Lord made that dope, bro. Prototype. Prototype. Computer. No, uh, this song uh, really goes back a long ways and uh, I named my little poodle after this song. I've got a poodle. She's white too. With a long bushy tail. They didn't chop her tail off. But I think I'm going to sometimes. Let's see. What is the name of this thing? I'll do anything to tell you. We had this song also recorded. And uh, my boy, I'm plugging the hell out of that album, man. Sally Good. Ah! Ready? Beautiful. Son, I 
I ain't tuned this thing in three months here. So Y'all ready? Get it there, well. You got your welding machine there? Yeah, man. I'll weld it. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> you not ready? You're waiting on me now, you back there. This has got it this time. <laughs> Our big red line. Bobby went down to this uh, Mexican restaurant down here, and uh, I want to tell you, you've seen, you've seen people uh, not be allowed to serve, be served at a bar if they're drinking too much, or well, they they quit bringing him tacos. Last count I had, he ate 37. With extra taco on it. Sauce. Take me back again 
Tony breaks a string when we have it have our show worked up. Uh, I grab the old fiddle out. JD grabs the old banjo out. What are you boys doing over there? That's what I've been telling them. Now this is uh, just a fiddling banjo tune, so uh, you guys feel free to lay out. Oh, yeah. And uh, Tony, you can take your time. I don't get to play the fiddle much. Get your marbles and go home. Okay. This is an old time fiddle team. Real old. Uh, grand, my, my granddaddy, his granddaddy, his granddaddy wrote this. He didn't write it, he stole it. It's called a wild horse. This, uh, this next song, Tony just told us we just done instrumental, so <laughs> we're going to do a song now. And, uh, oh, did you? And uh, he has this recorded on his first album, uh, Tony Rice Guitar, and uh, it's a song that, uh, that uh, Dean Martin's brother, Dean Martin and Carlton Haney's brother, Jimmy Martin, wrote. And... Uh, <laughs> Carl, you ain't in here, are you? Thought I heard something go. <laughs> Inside Joker. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Billy, you okay? <laughs> Is that Billy, right? Uh, no. Yes. 
Uh, what was we doing? Born, born free. Born free. Freeborn men. The uh, lights are not right for this number. Yeah, they're on. Yeah. Don't play yet. The red light is on. Yeah, we're recording when the red light comes on, so. Well, I was born down in the Southland. Some twenty odd years ago. I ran away for the first time. I was only four years old of a freeborn man. My home is on my back. I know every inch of the highway. You know, I, I messed up a while ago, and uh, our good friend Edward Tickner set me straight on uh, something that uh, I said Chris Hillman wrote, and he wasn't even born then, I don't think, was he? No. Who, who wrote uh, God's Own Singer? Hmm. There's a lady that... Who wrote God's Own Singer? Right. That's who I was trying to think of. That's who I said. It come out as Chris Hillman. I'd like to do this for a very, very special friend of mine, Miss Amy Lou Harris, which is with us tonight, one of the finest singers and people in the world, and uh, I want to do this song especially for her. It's a song called Sin City. This old town's filled with sin, 
instrumental for you and uh, this kind of features Tony and JD and Bobby and Jerry and myself <laughs> anybody else wants to get up and pick uh, I know what you're just drinking over now uh, this is on Tony's new album uh, he's got a new album out uh, on Rebel he records for all of them <laughs> We made Frisbee out of his first one. Sure. Makes a good ashtray. Participating in a technical deal to get one free with a filler. Really? Sure. Hmm. Oh, well, you get a free picture. Count Gomers. He has this recorded, as I said. Yeah, I did say that, didn't I? It's a, what, what's the name of this here? California Autumn. So appropriate. That's really not the name of it. He just thought he'd throw that in. No, it really is the name of it. California Autumn. It's a good song that Tony wrote. I like it. It's pretty. Gets me right there. Gets me right there. Yeah, royalties, boy. Get me right there. This is called the Beaumont Rag.
Bishop Bill Monroe. <laughs> We'll uh, do an old song that Flat and Scrubs recorded. You can tell we like Flat and Scrubs a little bit. Y'all like Flat and Scrubs? Yeah. <laughs> I need no capo number. No, uh, there's some. They was some favorites of ours and still are, but not together. Huh? We might. <laughs> no, we'll do a do a, a song that they recorded when. Uh, Back when Carly Seckler and I think uh, Benny Martin was still with him, and back when they was flat cutting it. Carl, why don't you tell me so? Or I think I'll stay around. Thank you. Very much. Thank you. Uh, uh, Chris Hillman wrote this one too. <laughs> Ask you 
was I running? If he ask you, was I running? If he ask you, was I running? Just tell him I was flying. Just tell him I was flying. Lightfoot tune. Y'all like Gordon Hotfoot, don't you? Flatfoot? Lightfoot. No, he's he's fine. He writes a lot of bluegrass songs that he really don't know he does. But we grab two or three from him every now and then. Of course, old Gordon don't care. I was in the Navy with old Gordon. My mother and his mother. It's called You Are What I Is. Straight and true Next number features uh, our Dobro player. We're no nah, Stanley Brothers didn't do this. Did they do this? Yeah, they did. Fireball? Did they? 
Why'd Ralph play dobro? I can see Ralph standing playing dobro. <laughs> Curly Ray played the dobro. That's him. Jack plays. No, I ain't doing Jack Cook. Uh, this uh, it's another Flat Scruggs tune. Uh, ain't it? No, it really is. Josh did it. That's before uh, Roy Nichols. No, who's that? Charlie Nichols. A little bit of difference there. Gene Sweet. Chris Hillman, did he write this with him? He had a hand in writing this. He signed it. He's like Lloyd Lorry, he just signed the man. It's called, uh, well now, this, uh, I'll probably pronounce this wrong out here, but uh, Farball. Farball? Fireball. If you're from Kentucky, it's fire. Close enough for bluegrass. If you're from Santa Monica, it's uh, Farball. <laughs> Osborne Brothers tune. No, Osborne Brothers. They did this song. I don't know. I don't know who who wrote this. One. Chris wrote this one. Chris Did he? He wrote this one too. On his way down uh, down south. Called flying south to Dixie. Thank you. 
another uh, fast number for you. We're going to do this and, and get out of here for tonight. And remember that we'll be back tomorrow night. And uh, Also, next week we're playing up in San Francisco at a place called Paul's Saloon. Uh, I guess Friday and Saturday nights, right? So if uh, you're up that way, we'd appreciate it if you drop in and see us. The Train 45. This features uh, everybody, I guess. We had a request as we was going right through there. Uh, Jerry stopped us and said, let's do uh, Born to Be With You, Hugh. And, uh, 
B flat, B natural, and then flat in it. Now, y'all are the greatest audience we've played to all year, really. And y'all really deserve a big hand. I wish we could give you a great big one. I just got two. But y'all are really great. We're looking forward to getting here tomorrow night. So y'all come on back out tomorrow night, would you? Bobby Sloan gets to kick this one off. And better he kicks it, I mean to tell you. He kicks the devil out of it. See you tomorrow night.